All right, well, good morning. That's a little bit better. <laughs> I started the stream just a second ago, and it was just a, f a freeze frame of me smiling in an awkward way. So anyway, welcome to Cartoon Chores. I'm Steve Jennings from Grass Horse Studios. I'm sorry, this is actually Robot Chores. Um, I do both cartoon chores and robot chores now, and um, trying to focus it more on whether it's going to be for robotics or whether it's going to be more for just animation and uh, and the like. So we've been working on a servo uh, high tech HS645 uh, metal geared uh, servo in modeling it, and so we are midway through that process. And I think the last video is about just about two hours long, and that's way too long just to to not break it up. So <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna be going through and continuing to model uh, this object right here. So let's take a look at where we're at. Cool. Doop, 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 doop. Put the coffee someplace where I won't spill it. All right. <clears throat> so just to recap a little bit here, we've been going through uh, basic, basic modeling concepts and how you go through and precision modeling precision model an object. <clears throat> we have a mirror modifier here for X and Y to uh, do that. We're getting kind of close to where we can, you know, actually finally apply that because what will be coming next is dealing with all of this shape up here. And I guess it is symmetrical, you know, in this would be the y-axis it is symmetrical, but it is not symmetrical in the x-axis. So we might have to apply the x-axis uh, to the modifier and then make a new mirror modifier. So that's coming up, but before we do that, we have to, one, we have to figure out how this works into this body of the, of the um, object. Because right now, oh, sorry, get dizzy. Shift S, cursor selected. So if I orbit around this now, you can see that, well, some of these things kind of look like they might fit. Like this could go to there pretty easily. Uh, this could move back to there pretty easily. We could have one, maybe two here. And this could actually go back to there. So we had two more um, kind of equidistant, um, two more edges going through here. We could actually, for the most part, run those back there <clears throat> decently. Now, since it's two more, we can't really, the knife tool doesn't necessarily, won't necessarily work the best for that. Can I do a loop, cut, and slide? That'd be handy dandy if I could. And yes, I can. In fact, it's on both sides at once. So I made two there. I'm gonna zero it out. There we are. Hot dog. So now, when I come back here, I can see kinda easily where uh, some of these things should go. Now, Moving this one to this one, no problem. In fact, before I do any of this, let's actually pull out some of those faces there so we can see that, pull out these faces <clears throat> so we can see where things are meant to go. So X, faces, pull that out. And <clears throat> I will just say this can go to here. And I imagine that this, this here, shift S, cursor selected, N. So let's just look real quick at the three cursors location in Z. So it's 2.913. Click this one. I'm sorry, click this one here. Shift S. Does it move in X? Nope, it doesn't. Great. 
So I'm gonna take this one and just merge it over here. Alt M, last. Let's move this one here, Alt M, last. This one to here, Alt M, last. This one to here, Alt M, last. <clears throat> Do I love moving this Alt M, last to there? I'm not sure. Um, it definitely adds a bend there, whereas, you know, if I look at If I look at this object, I don't think there is a, ugh, boy, I won't even focus that close. There is no bend going there. So on the, on the servo, there is no bend. Hey, you actually can see it there a little bit. For a second there, you good. So anyway, I'm gonna undo that one because I'm not sold on that yet. And so this one should go here. We are definitely preferring the arc in this, mo this um, process because we, we need to maintain that that's a nice, even, equal um, rotation. So let's go here, Shift S, cursor selected. Let's move these back near Closer to that, so S, X, zero. Okay, so those have moved back as far as those pieces are. Um, actually, I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna move it to here. S, X, cursor selected. Let's move these to S, sorry. SX zero. So we've moved back that back to there. And now we can go through and actually make it make some faces. Make them faces. Select three vertices, and then you can hit F. In this case, I'm gonna select four and hit F. And here I'll select three and hit F. Okay. <clears throat> Groovy. Um, and now I can just hit GG and move that back closer to that. And there you go. I think that's pretty good. So it does have a bend there. There are some tries. There, there's a try right there on the top and bottom. They're not very big. But it maintains the look much more so than... <clears throat> so cool all right so that is there and again i was saying yesterday that i don't really like having like no geometry going through here at all you know now some of this this is actually pretty dense here but let's just add let's just take a look at it and see what it looks like well, that's interesting see that that is something to definitely take care of even before we do that is we want to have this geometry hook actually hook up into here because it looks like it's not right now. So we have one, two, three, four. So if I go to here, select there, three, four, enter, okay, and zero. I will select this uh, before I do that. I'm going to go down here and do loop cut slide down here as well. Loop cut slide. Sounds like, like a country step line dance move. <clears throat> All right. Um, one, two, three, four. All right. So I will select that vertice, shift S, cursor selected, and this one, and this one and SY0.
Cool. All right, there we go. And one, two, three, four here as well. Five. Looks like five. Before we do that, let's do it down below too. <clears throat> Escape. One, two, three. All right. This one, this one. So select this, Shift S, cursor selected, Alt, Shift, Alt, Shift, S, Y, zero. Select this, Shift S, cursor selected, dink, dink, come on, Alt, Shift, S, Y, zero. Shift S, cursor selected, S, Y, zero. Shift S, cursor selected, S, Y, zero. And this one, Shift S, cursor selected. S Y zero, A A W four, cool. Remove ten vertices. Great. Shift S, Alt Control S to save. All right. Okay, and so if I go over here to loop, cut, and slide. I mean, that's kind of what the same amount of frequency that it has over there. That's more. What's the purpose of it? I don't know. It looks balanced. <clears throat> Is it doing anything? I'm not sure if it does. I'll just do, go ahead and just do one. It sure would do something when we start to um, add a subdivision surfaces and stuff like that. Cool, so that's looking great. Now, down here at the bottom, we have this point and everything. And really, I think that there are, in fact, I hit that, hit period, the number pad, so we can kind of orbit around it. Looking at this, of course, there are screws down there. And so that point doesn't exist on our, our servo. It's screwed on there. We're not going to do um, this type of stuff on the bottom of it. We're not gonna model that. We could probably model that little circle because that is a little bit more than the others for sure. But I think we're, gonna, I think we're not gonna worry about it. Um, but we do need to have the screws there, and we need to have the cutouts uh, for where the screws recess into. So before I start sculpting on that, I probably need to do some measurements. Um, <clears throat> so turn this on, zero it out. I think yesterday I was calling these micrometers for some reason. These are, these are digital calipers. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just started thinking about that this morning. I was making coffee. Why was I calling them micrometers yesterday? I may have to disassemble or pull out one screw to get an accurate height on that. Boop. This was not planned. I did not do this beforehand. 
I try and do all these real time as things are going on so I can talk about how I'm figuring stuff out if I'm figuring it out. <laughs> all right. Um, 1.5 1 millimeters. Okay. So if I take this E escape and I'm going to move it GZ minus 0.151. Wrong direction. GZ 0.151. If I type in Z, that is essentially where is the floor for the thing that's happening right there. Okay. Um, it almost looks like it's dead center there, which is interesting. What we might be able to do, and this is a little bit risky. All right, I'm gonna try some things here. I'm gonna get a little experimental because I don't know exactly how we're gonna do this. Okay, control. And so I'm gonna go and select those pieces here that are part of the arc, hit enter. We, we know that this is the center of those. If I go on the side, <clears throat> That is like so absurdly close to this. That is a big surprise. But what I was gonna do, just so I can do it, is I'm gonna hit G, G, and see if I can pull it up and down. But my mind is actually telling me, you know what, your measurement is so close that this is probably right, and that me your measurement was off by like a 0.001 millimeters or something, right? So I'm gonna do a shift S, cursor selected, and um, I'm gonna take that and just SX zero, okay? So <clears throat> I basically moved my measurement to where those are at because they're so close. Now, if I go to seven above, I can go to here and I can say, hey, let's spin that but we're gonna follow the 3D cursor. Come on, 3D cursor. Shift S, cursor selected, select that. We're gonna spin this. We're gonna spin it um, 270 degrees and it's gonna be 24 units. Huh. Well, that's right because we did Eight and eight is 16. So give me a second here. Escape or enter and control Z. This is a unit, this, this. Okay, so look, we actually have, okay, so down here, these are non, what are called non-manifold, and that they're, they're actually, and that's a big no-no, is that there are more than, and it was fine until we introduced this edge across there because they weren't non-manifold until I introduced that edge across there. All right, sorry folks. Five, five vertices here make this non-manifold. It was just three before I introduced that edge, okay? So this, that's why I was getting surprising um, numbers or whatever there. So um, I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna just delete these. Delete those right now. X faces, seven, select that. And we're going to do a spin. This will be 32. And this is, we're going to have it be 360 degrees. Come on. Uh, 
All right, so then AA, W4, they remove five vertices. Now, <clears throat> now that I have that there, Okay, now that I have that there, I'm going to pull out these faces because, well, it's just gonna be easier to rebuild them than to fix them. So now this to this, sorry, this to this F. This to this F. Okay, so now if, if I look at these along here, and I'm gonna wrap that into, into this whole process. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna select these here as edges. Okay, if I hit subdivide over here, well, it kind of works. That one shouldn't be selected. Subdivide. All right, so now this face here, I just have a hunch. Okay, from here to there. A, A, W, four. Remove zero vertices, okay. So there we are with that. I'm looking at basically that recess there and figuring out, it's gonna have the same center that all the other ones did. There's a very definite circle right where ours is at, so that's correct. What's a little bit different is that, looking at Z from above here, they'll have it come in here and then turn and go like this. And then it arcs with it like that. So now my take on it is So they had the same center for the circle, and <clears throat> they cut in here like this and then arc around and go like that. So what is that length? How far does that come in? Let's find out. Zero. Is 4.62 millimeter. 4.62. Write that number down so I don't forget it. 4.62. So 
What we're gonna do here then is, is we'll do a loop, cut, and slide right here. Ooh, ah, wherever. And I'm gonna select this spot here, any, any, any vertice on this part, and say, you know, cursor selected. I'm gonna right, select, alt, right click uh, this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it to this spot and then move it back. So SX zero, so I'm scaling it to the 3D cursor in the X. Then I'm gonna do a GX minus 4.62. And so that's way off, because I did the, that's in um, centimeters where it should be in millimeters. So GX minus 0.462. That is where it's saying that curve is at. That's a lot further away than I expected. Okay. Well, which ones of these is going to fit? I think this is probably going to be the one that's closest. So it's time to do this one now. So shift S cursor selected. If I take a hunch, I think this one's probably the closest to that. So A, B, and I'm gonna type S, Y, zero, then G, Y, minus, point, four, six, two. Yeah, there we go. And shift S, cursor selected, and then I can hit A, B, and then let's move this down there too. So S, Y, zero. All right, we know that this is the center. So, and this should be the center of, you know, from here to here, this should then rotate over to here nicely on a 90 degree spin. So, undo that, select this, shift S, cursor selected, select that. Do a spin, I do eight, 90, tab. So it needs to be negative 90. Cool. A, A, W, four, Z. All right. Okay, so That is the top edge of that curve, and, and basically it just drops straight down. I mean, there is some other things happening in there, but that's going to be close enough for what we're doing. Um. <clears throat> so let's see here. I think that means that, that some of these here can just go goodbye. They'll have to be rebuilt. X faces, cool. Okay, select that. Shift S, cursor selected. Now let's select this arc. E, escape. And S, Z, zero. Groovy. There we go. Cool. And these are, that will be a plane. That will be a plane. Um, seven. Seven, come on. I'm just gonna jump in and see if I can get get it right. Oh, that looks right. This is not crazy talk, right? No, that's looking good.
So now, this will be a little more complicated. Okay, I can see that this is straight up and down. We have a piece there. I don't want to pull that all the way out there, but these, shift S, cursor selected, I can move Z, A, B. I can move these to S, Y, zero, B. Connect there. Cool. This one can move to here. So this could move to here. It's not ideal, but it could. My sneeze, pardon me. <coughs> wow. One, two, three. So if I go to loop, cut, and slide, go to here. So one, two, three. Last. Go on. Oh, shoot. Cool. There. This can go here for sure. All time last. All time last. All time last. I think we can. There's a. Looks like there might be even one that we can lose here. Okay, so shift S, cursor selected. Do both of those, S, Y, zero. And here, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Same here. Four. <clears throat> okay. There are places. I'm trying not to break into a Beatles song. Um, one, two, three. You might be able to do this. Hey, that actually is pretty good. And what's really cool about that too is I can go here, select that, I can boop, subdivide. And I can do this. That's a hot dog right there. All right, now, um, when I see stuff like this, where it's kind of like, maybe it kind of is equidistant and stuff, it doesn't, and it could be pretty much anywhere, I'm like, let's make that stuff um, much more, well, here, this, this bothers me too. This is where I get really, um, I get really anal about topology. So I'm going to select these two, shift S, cursor selected, and then I'm going to move all of these to be directly center of those two things. So S, Y, zero, and then I'll do the same thing with the, these here, because I want that to be really pretty even. Okay, so 
Looking pretty good. So I had, we needed one, two, we needed two splits between, we actually were gonna need three, because that was a, the third one. Um, huh. I'm gonna do this. I know I didn't, I did it a little bit differently before, but whatever, I'm gonna do this. S, Y, zero. And let the pinch happen there. Keep everything straight up to there. So we need one, two, three, four. Going through there. All right, so we're gonna need four loops added. So one, two, three, four. There we go. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. And I don't like that one of these really crazy triangles are like that. So I'm gonna take this one, cursor selected, move that. I'm gonna take these and move all of that. If it's okay with it, SX0, right there. It just makes that little triangle there easier for it to make it. Easier for the computer to make it nicely. I don't know how to describe that better. That's so pathetic. <laughs> I wish I knew how to explain that, but it's just, you don't want it torquing on the geometry too much. You know, especially when you start adding subdivisions, it just pulls things in a very weird way. All right, come on, subdivide, cool, there we go. All right, there's that. Do a similar thing I did to the other one. So let's select this one. Let's select this, shift S, cursor selected. Whoop, I'm not gonna do that. SX zero, this to this, shift S, cursor selected, SX zero. Whoa. Um, here to here, shift S, cursor selected, SX0. Cool. <clears throat> now, if I look at this little hole again here, it actually comes in like I'd say 10 to 15% before it actually dives, goes in. So it's, there's like a little extra like flange on that a little bit. So let's, let's make that real quick. We're gonna say that. Alt, Alt, Shift, click this and Shift S, cursor selected, E to extrude, escape, S.85. That's plenty, that's great. And now we're going to do an E extrude and I'm just gonna pull it down. Um, GZ, let's say, 0.2. I think it actually goes in there fairly deep, but um, I'm just putting it there just to, just to have it. <clears throat> and we can put a screw on there and all that stuff to make it look more like it's all set. But I'm not worrying about the, the screw quite, quite right now. Um, all right, so I am going to, I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete those. X vertices. So, we 
what see like like here when I look at this, I hate that there's like this big gap and there's like these and these and I don't like all that stuff. And that's why I like to add extra, you know, topology there to try and even those things out. But I can see right now that and and some of it is it's a result of what's happening down here. But I can see that from here to here, this is not even. This should be, this is exactly where it should be. This can be equidistant from to, to there to there. So let me just figure it out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. It'd be better if it were an odd number. I could take it to this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I take it to this here. So Shift S, cursor selected. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So then this one here needs to... Okay, so this would be S, Y, 0. Okay, so then from here to here, Shift S, cursor selected, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, so one, two, three, center, one, two, three, great. So this is the center then. K S Y zero. So, and you can move some of these things over just to get them, start to get them in the right spot. G, Y, G, Y. G, Y. Closer and closer. All right, there we go. So we're starting to at least spread them out a little bit. So now this is a good spot. This is a good spot. That's where I do remember it a little bit here. Now if I...
Well, we can do some math to calculate where those would be at. Since it's x, you know, pretty much everything is pretty much square in the world of this thing, we can do that. If I do this, shift s, cursor selected, you can see over here that y is at zero. And select here, shift s, cursor selected, I can see it's at uh, 2.91300, zero, zero, right? And so you can calculate the difference between those two, which is basically zero plus 2.913 equals 2.913, right? You knew that, of course. But then to multiply it by 0 0.333, and you have 0 0.970029. And you can go down here and type in 0 0.09700029. And it will shoot off somewhere wildly different because that was <laughs> not the right darn thing. Okay, so Shift S, cursor selected. And um, this one here is the one in Y. Point 970029. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? That looks right. So, this to this, that should be correct for that one this s y 0 okay and then we can go back to our handy dandy calculator and take 2.913 and multiply it by 0.666 and now we can change this here to whatever that number was. Point one nine four zero zero five eight. Okay. And it doesn't look correct. This is supposed to be the one that's... Oh, I did the wrong. My logic was right, but I read the wrong stupid number. Y, we're looking at Y. Point one nine four zero one. This is where, this is the number we wanted for um, the third. So now we need to multiply this by 0 0.3. And I should have documented that before I moved everything. So I'm going to say that I'm going to cross out that part. So 0 0.19401. So before I even do anything, I want to make sure that that number is down here in Y, point zero five eight two zero one seven four S Y zero. 
S Y zero. Come on. S Y zero. All right. So I'm gonna go clear. And I'm gonna type. 0.19401 times 0.6666. And that is the next number that needs to be in here for y. So it'll be 0 0.12932706. Okay. <clears throat> S Y zero. Cool. And for like ones like this here, I take those two. Shift S cursor selected. S Y zero. S Y zero. S Y zero. Okay, so between here, then, and here, this is the center line of this face here. So we need to have those two numbers. So this is 0.29029. No, it's not. Shift S, cursor selected. change on me because that was 0.194 before. Hmm. All right, we're leaving it, but that number has changed. I don't know how it moved, but it did. So that is 0.20775. And this here, Point four one five five zero. So over here, I'm going to take point four one five five zero and subtract point two zero seven seven five. And come up with that number, which is you know it makes sense because it is exactly in the center. So that's a that makes a lot of sense. So we're going to take that and. Multiply that by 0.333 and come up with this number that has to be then added. That number plus 0.20775. All right. And that is where 0.27775. Is at. Okay, so there's this, that. So now here, we're going to go to clear and take 0 0.20775 times 0 0.6666 uh, plus 0 0.20775 is 0.3462. Three six one five. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. 
this one's fine. So this and this, shift S, cursor selected. Press Y, zero. This and this, shift S, cursor selected. Press Y, zero. This and this. Um, <clears throat> what is the reason that that's even there to begin with? I don't know. So could we have just gone like this and just actually S zero and this and this? S, zero. Basically center them up. Anything down here? Okay, so now we have this one, this, 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 th this, this, this. So from there to here, shift S, cursor selected. And Candy Crush Saga is exactly what I was thinking. So select those two. I'm gonna leave that one there. So it makes this thing happy, I think. Hmm. Let's take a peek at it. Let's see what it looks like. S Y zero. This is not moving. I'm leaving that one there. S Y zero. These can move. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so shift S, cursor selected. Y is point four one five five zero. Here it is point six two three two five. So we're gonna find the difference between those two, so 0 0.62325 minus 0 0.41550 is, again, 0 0.20775. And then we multiply that by 0 0.3333, and it is 0 0.06924307. Let me add that to point four one five five zero. And that's our new that's our number for where those should be at. Point four eight four seven four three zero seven five.
That's clearly not right. Did I miss one? No, it is right. That is right. Because those are the ones that need to be there. So, okay. I'm not going to worry about these down here. We can deal with these separately because of all this. It's topology is different. So, do undo that. And S Y zero. Cool. S Y zero. Okay. So now I'm going to take point two zero. 775 times 0.6666 and we're going to add 0 0.41550 to that and there's that number then we're going to change this to 0.5539815 hmm it rounded it so then select this and this this and this and this s y zero cool so i mean look at these they're starting to look so much cleaner and organized you know hooray for that <clears throat> so this one here we know is should be if i do a shift s should be 0.62325 yes it is and then this one here, shift S, cursor selected, is 0 0.83100. So I'm going to take that 0 0.8 number, that last number, 0 0.83100, and subtract 0 0.62325. I have, yep, 20775 like I have before. Multiply that by point three 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 three, and so I have this number, and now I need to add the offset, which was that point six number, so plus point six two three two five, and that gives us this point six nine uh, two four nine. So point six nine two four nine three zero seven five. Okay, so there's that. Just like that and that. 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 S Y zero. Groovy. Like this and this. Shift this. Because you're selected. S zero. This this. Selected. S. Okay. All right, so this one here, I need to take that point two zero seven seven five, multiply it by point six 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 going past the number of the beast there <laughs> and uh, uh, adding 0.62325 to that number. And then we're gonna update our three cursor to that number. 0.76173615. Okay, so there's that one, that one, that one, this one, this one, that one, that one. Cool. I think that's right. S Y zero. Great. Great.
I still think we need more topology over here just to you know, have fairly even topology, but it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna do a control S right now and save it. Let me take a look here. We've not gone through and put the um, triangle supports right here yet. I think I'm gonna hit pause. Um, pause right now on it, and we will come back at it in the next part. Um, I'm headed off to Life Drawing, so I don't wanna be late. And uh, I highly recommend Life Drawing to anyone that wants to be an artist, you better be doing some Life Drawing. And uh, whether you're doing 2D, 3D, anything, it lets you, it lets you see better. So, um, I'm headed off to do that. That's another part of my um, animation chores to, you know, continue to improve my own abilities. And um, I just, like I said, I, I highly recommend other people to do it as well. So anyway, we're plugging right along. We've made some great progress with, um, with uh, this here. There's only one thing left to um, model in, in this piece um, before we go through and apply the mirrors. And that's that little notch thing there, right? that little thing that, that sticks up. And so that has to be taken care of, and then we can go through and start actually building this top part. And so that's, that's the very next step is to do that. But we're looking like we're in pretty good shape here. Before I lose that little screw, I need to add that back to the servo here. But um, looks like we're in pretty good shape. And I um, hope you like the content. If you do, be sure to comment so I know or if you think that there's things that can be fixed, I would love to hear ideas of what we can do. Um, and uh, I hope you're making awesome stuff out there too. So until next time, uh, toodaloo. Weird, it got dark. How'd I do that? <laughs> All right, toodaloo.